Truth. I'm Pastor Evangelist Frankie Harris with the Voice of Truth Ministries broadcast. And we're so glad that you're allowing us the privilege to speak with you and share with you some important information uh, for the next few minutes. Thank you. Uh, we have people that write in, uh, call us messages, asking questions uh, about life, uh, about their life and life in general. Because we give answers out of the Bible. I've been asked, why is Sarah Palin being so persecuted? And, you know, I've been watching and uh, kind of laid back, observing, and uh, it has gone beyond the pale. Uh, what's happening to the Palin family is not fair. It's not right and it's not good. And the source from where it's coming from is demonic. Listen to what the Bible says in James 3, verse 5. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Verse 6 says, and the tongue is a fire. A world, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and set on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of hell. What we're seeing in the news and what we're hearing is a demonic attack against a good American family. Todd and Sarah Palin are good people. They love God, they love America, and they love the principles our nation has been built on. You know, Sarah Palin, the former governor of Alaska, she's being lambasted by what I call the left-wing media. Uh, but you know I'm proud of her. Sarah, if you're seeing this, I'm so proud of you. You're holding tough. And this fire uh, of iniquity that's coming against you is going to make you strong like gold. And it's going to make you wise. And uh, only God knows what this fire you're going through is going to mold you into for America's future. I just want the Palin family to know that we love them and that we care about them. Uh, I'm a pastor from Birmingham, Alabama, and the Lord laid this on my heart to pray for the Palin family. And I believe as a pastor of 34 years, I've got my finger on the pulse of the heartbeat of America. I live among the people. I work for the Lord Jesus Christ among the good, hardworking people of this country. And I want the Palins to know that the majority, the silent majority, sad to say sometimes, the silent majority of America, we love you and we respect you and we bless you to go forth and obey God's will for your life in Jesus' holy name. Thank you so much for being with us today.